Hi, I'm going to show you one way that you can make an assignment in Canvas. So I'm going to come over and click on the edit button. So I'm up there. All right, I'm going to go over to assignments and you can create your assignments ahead of time. You don't have to build them as you go along. So I'm going to say that I was ready to go. Click. I'm going to add a new assignment. And you have to give the assignment a name. Um, you mentioned that you send the kids to Envisions. So I'm going to just call this Envisions Homework. Whoops. I'm going to come down to the content editor. And this is the area that you would give the kids their instructions. I'm just going to make something up. Complete page, I think you said to 11, to 11 in your envisions, or probably workbook, right? Workbook. So now they know what your expectations are. Now, I'm going to scroll down. We don't have to worry about points here because we don't grade numerically so what I tend to do is just say or choose complete or incomplete because we're not giving letter grades or anything like that so I'm going to change that to complete or incomplete I'm not going to check anything about assignments here I'm going to leave it leave it alone so this is where I was talking about there are different types of choices involved you can, um, if you were to give an, an online assignment and you want the kids to go out someplace, this is where you could click that you want them to respond after going someplace. Maybe they're going to watch a video and that's what you put in that assignment box Go and you gave them a link to a video. You could ask a question and say, I want you to respond through a text category. So it's just be a text box and nothing else. If you wanted to have them video themselves or record themselves, you're going to want to go here and check media recordings. Um, I don't think in kindergarten they're going to be doing file uploads, but if you want their parents to take a picture of something they've done and send it to you, you would click here. So a lot of times what teachers do is when they choose online, they literally just click all four boxes. And that means that the kids have the choice to respond to you in any of those ways. For this assignment, just for demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the external tool, which is this one. All right, I'm going to go find Cami. So what I did in preparation for this is I went on to the Kindergarten Envisions um, site and I just downloaded a page out of the workbook. It was just a random page. So click. All right. When I'm in here, I'm looking for Cami and it, it's associated with Google Drive. So I'm going to click on Cami and it's looking for it. Now, when you do it for the very first time, you are going to have to give it permission to go into your Google Drive. I've already done that. It knows the, um, that I go there. So once you do that, look, this is pretty cool. It's right in my Google Drive. It automatically is there. And all you have to do is go look for the assignments that you create. So I'm going to go look for the Envisions workbook page. There it is. Run here. And it's a PDF. So that's right. really nice about Envisions. All of the pages in workbook sheets download automatically as PDFs you can go online and find your own PDFs as well. Or you could create something in a Word document and save it as a PDF. So I'm gonna double click on here. And you do have to confirm. Say yes, I want you to select Cami. Click. All right. All right, it's almost ready to go. I'm gonna leave it at unlimited attempts. This is where you have to make a choice and we have not entered in all the kids from the different classes yet. So it's going to say everybody, but when it's time that we're all up and going, you're going to click here and it won't just say kindergarten. 
it literally will have each of your names. So that way you can each go into your site since you're sharing it and only send out an assignment to just your class if you want. And I'll definitely do more PD on that down the road. But for just assignments, and you guys work such so in sync, it may just very well be that everybody gets it, and that's fine. So it has to have a due date. If we don't put a due date, the whole process won't work. I'm just going to make one up and say it's due tomorrow. Click. All right. This is where you can work ahead of time. For instance, if you're um, doing something that the kids aren't going to get to for a week or so, you could still make the assignment and then lock it down saying, I don't want you to open until this date and I want you to close at that date. I, I just leave it blank for now, but maybe once we're up and going, it might be helpful. Great. I'm going to save the assignment. And this is very close to what the kids will see. I'm not in student view right now, but because that would not have all of these different um, menu items here, but this is what Cami looks like. And in this particular one, I think the instruction said that you were all gonna count backwards as a class and have the kids write the number. Um, so you could either have them text it or you could literally have them come over and see the markup, do I want, I guess the drawing tool. And they could choose whatever color they wanted. And they can literally write on the worksheet. Of course, I cannot do a good, oops, template file. Looks like the assignment is in the course. Yep, that's okay, got it. So they could, they could um, draw their numbers. They could type their numbers. If you wanted just to click there, they could just write the number 19 and so on in this case. But there's a, I don't know if this was the very best um, worksheet to choose, but there's so many good ones that are out there that the kids can draw pictures on, write on, and all of that. So when the kids go into their student view, they would have um, a notice saying that they have an assignment. I wish I could kind of show you that, but I can't, I can pretend and show you what a student view looks like, but I'm not in as a student. So let's see if it will let me do that. That settings. This is how you go into as a student student view. All right, I'm in your kindergarten site. So if I was an actual student right here under to do, the kids would get a notification saying, "Oh, you have an assignment," and they would just click on that. But I'm not. So let's see. No, and I didn't have this one. I, this one is it, or assignments would be up over here. And they could go and find it that way as well. But it's not set up that way right now. But I could show you how to do that. You might want to leave the assignments um, button there. But that's if you choose to use it or not. If you're only going to use it as like a work, um, a web page, then it doesn't matter. All right. I hope that helps.